hope you like this video because if you didn't like it, I'm not making any more. I'm only joking. But this computer, the RX 1300, no, it's not the RX. Is it RX? Yeah, it's the R version of the AMD 1300X CPU. Works really well. Even in content creation, it works really well. Works well in Photoshop, works well in illustration, works well in After Effects, which is really damn weird. Like, it works when I put little effects on. It works really quickly in Premiere Pro with uh, rendering and um, exporting. I was very like shocked. It plays the video back perfectly. It gains really well. You get high frame rates. All for £127. I really just don't get it at all. A CPU does show up though on Cinema 4D. I don't think it's going to be definitely ready for, for Cinema 4D as it does still take a while to do the frame, not frame rate, to render each frame, each square. But as you look from my actual um, results, you'll notice that, oh wow, that just looks pretty awesome, but it's slower than normal. But for 120 odd quid, like you can't go wrong at all. Um, also, I enjoyed the build, the case is awesome. I've got it opened at the moment. I was trying to overclock to 4.1 gigahertz. It did go onto the desktop, but as soon as I run anything, it just like collapsed. It didn't even blue screen, just black screen can give me like the number eight on the Asus motherboard. But I just was trying to get things as really quick as possible with overclocking. Uh, I got to four gigahertz, no problem, with uh, temperature up to 54 degrees. And I thought that was quite awesome as well. At the moment, it's got 39 degrees with the obviously the window open, but this case is okay. This is a, um, blah, blah, blah. what case is this? This case is an LED's RGB case. And it's just like a miniature version. It's got like a miniature version of a case labs case, but for the, for the better price, 125 pound. Um, you've got filter at the top, but you've got two fans, which water cooling is there for the 240. And then over this side, it's got 240 fans. Uh, 120 there, 120 there, four at the front, one at the back, nice and quiet. Obviously it's water cooled in, everything's all separate and everything like that. It's awesome, done all the overclocking, done stock, so hopefully you can compare the difference between it. And yeah, I'm really quite happy with it. I didn't realise that this CPU was going to be quite decent for this. If you're looking for the most budget oriented CPU to do everything and game, do content creation, everything like that, this is a very good place to start. Definitely, you could definitely start off, you could go up to £750 and be fine with it. But if you're going with things a little bit more intensive, like Cinema 4D animation, um, anything that needs something to do with using the CPU a bit more, then obviously go up in the CPU category, but anything else, it's awesome. The only thing is, um, I don't have onboard graphics, but I definitely don't have onboard graphics anywhere on that motherboard, so, don't know. But anything else, this is awesome. The case is awesome. CPU is awesome. Everything's awesome. I'm happy. It's all good. Anyway, I'll leave the link in the description down below for everything that you want to have a look at if you want to buy anything. I 100% rate, I 200, 1000% recommend getting that CPU. It is awesome. AMD are kind of swooping in and smacking Intel out the way. I like Intel as well. I'm not a fanboy of like Intel or AMD, but I do love a good old RAL. I do love a bit of UFC, and this is what's happening right now. Like, the a, they've got the blue corner and the red corner. Who's going to actually win right at the end of the year? Intel seems to be bringing out CPUs left, right, and center. Then AMD are bringing out CPUs left, right, and center. So they brought out the really low range. They, they, they've done so well. They brought out a medium range, then, no, the high range, medium range, then low range. Now they're bringing out a server CPU, then a uh, Fred uh, Ripper. They're literally smashing it. And then you've got Intel bringing out Coffee Lake, and they brought out Skylake. They had Skylake XX299 platform. Whew, it's too much, but anyway, I'm enjoying it, so keep it up guys, keep fighting, it's all good. But anyway, if you are struggling to figure out what computer to buy, I'm going to be doing um, some, I'm going to go on, I don't know, I'm going to go and do some research for you guys to see if you want something as a very orientated budget computer, all the way to something that's just the beast. Literally, you do something, it renders while you're just, while I'm just talking, or even blink, so yeah. That's what I'm going to do for you guys. Anyway, if you like that sort of stuff, leave it in the comments. Tell me what kind of components you want to see or whatever, and then I'll get back to you. Well, I won't get back to you. I'll just do it. I'll just do the video. And I might even put your name in the video as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If not, dislike it. Leave a comment. Subscribe, share to all your friends in the world. They're going to like my face, because if they don't like my face, I'm coming for you. But anyway, other than that, have a nice, pleasant day. I'm not really crazy. But anyway, see you later. Bye.